I must break you. Knock me out! Come on, knock me out! Alright, so first of all, let's be clear, I can totally do that with 45 pounds. I just didn't want Ricky to feel bad. You bum! Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty heavy, guys. We were able to do it with the 35 pound plates, but doing them with the 45 pounds and holding them in that exact position, it's pretty heavy. But I thought it was important for Ricky and I to do this before making this video because obviously we're gonna be talking about the Sylvester Stallone video. It's floating around YouTube right now. He posted this on his Instagram page a couple days ago. Um, good heavy morning, punching hard till the final bell at Gunner Fitness Stallone shop, where he does a stand up. It go exactly what we just did. He gets two forty five pound plates, does a lateral raise as he stands up, and everyone was like losing their mind in the comments section. Well, not everyone. For those of you who could obviously tell that the weights were fake, you know, left like, hey guys, those are fake weights, and point of this video is to give my opinion. Like, do we even care that Stallone's using fake weights here? Because personally, I don't. And I'm going to talk about that towards the end of the video and explain why I think he made this video. And then it's all going to make sense because I am super smart. But let's take a look at Stallone lifting these 45-pound plates with a lat standing lateral raise. I do like that he's grunting. He grunts, you know. I'm a grunter. <laughs> He's really milking it. I mean, he is 75 years old. I can imagine that's probably how I'll get off the toilet when I'm 75. <laughs> Holds him up there for a few seconds and then drops. Why does the video end as soon as he dropped the weights? Like, don't slide. Don't you think we want to know that you didn't break every bone in your body when you fell over like that? I'm guessing the plates probably bounced weird or broke because they are fake weights. And, you know, how? why am I saying they're fake to begin with? Like, what makes me so sure that they're fake? Well, there's a lot of reasons, guys. Um, number one, usually when you search on eBay for fake weights, it says, it, it's like barbell on the top and bottom, and then it says 45 pounds on sides, and it's usually the same pattern. Like, this is usually what the fake weights look like when you do see them. But, you know, aside from that, aesthetically, look at these plates. They look brand new. So unless they unpackaged two plates just for Sly to make this video, it's very unlikely that they're real. I mean, if you were to zoom in on this area right here where they slide on top of the barbell, usually there's tons of wear and tear in there. Usually the paint's already chipped in there, but it's not. It looks totally clean like they've never been slid on a barbell before in their life. And then a few other things that maybe you guys might not have noticed, but I did just because I am me and I do what I do and I'm very observant. You know, when me and Ricky were testing this, when we would lift the weights up like this and then drop them on the ground, you know, and kind of place them down, even if we tried to place them gently, the sheer fact that they weigh 45 pounds a piece, they make a thump noise on the ground. And we even did it on top of my welcome mat, which is like this thick, which was on top of my rubber floor, which is an inch, in, uh, I mean, uh, a quarter of an inch thick, Listen to how this sounds when it's real weights. Even just picking it up slightly and putting it down, let alone picking it up and falling forward. So if it wasn't gonna make any noise, then it wasn't gonna make any noise you know, with all, that, all those layers that I had. But it did make noise, but Sly's plates made zero noise, probably because he's trying to like control them because so, they're probably fragile, so he won't break them. And then, you know, the entire lift is, you can just tell that he's acting and he's trying to make it seem a lot heavier than it really is. I mean, look at his wrist, guys. His wrist isn't even bending. You ever tried to lift a 45-pound plate like this before? Your wrist isn't going to stay straight. It's going to hang like that, kind of like when you're doing an upright row. So clear signs that the weights are fake. Um, I mean, you can get them online. You can get them anywhere. Who knows? He's friends with Jeff Cavalier. Maybe he called up Jeff and he's like, uh, hey, uh, I'm going to be doing a, uh, a video. Uh, I need some fake 45 pound plates. Uh, maybe you can give me the plates you use in that video. You did deadlifting 500 pounds. You bum! I'm not that good at Rocky. I'm much better with Arnold. What are you doing? Sly, come on, they're going to catch you. You have to get out of there. Get to the chopper, leave now, go. Get out. Stop it. Way better, right? Yeah, way better. I gotta work on my Rocky. Sorry, sorry, don't thumbs down the video because of the bad Rocky. Thumbs it up because of the good Arnold. 
But, you know, the, wherever he got the weights, they're totally fake. And, you know, we've seen fake weights before. I'm sure he has them lying around. These, these could have even been leftover fake weights from the Rocky Balboa movie where he snatches 315. <laughs> he just snatches it and holds it like this in front of his body. <laughs> Look at this. For those of you who haven't seen the movie before, this is like the training montage they did to get him ready for his fight. Beast movie, by the way. But there's no way he's snatching 315 as old as he is and just holding it like this casually with his wrist pretty much straight and then pressing it over his head, okay? Anybody who knows how to do this movement knows <laughs> that ain't happening. But anyway, that's a movie. Obviously, the weights are fake. This is real life. The weights are fake, but I think he did it just for a publicity stunt. I mean, people do stuff like this all the time. Look how much um, attention Chris Como got lifting his fake 100-pound dumbbell that literally said Como on it, had his last name, and people lost their mind because they thought that he was, what was he, power bombing? Single, single arm overhead extending 100 pounds. And then Joe Rogan... You know, I mean, I still think Joe Rogan did it for a publicity stunt, too. Yeah. Joe Rogan, like, I mean, do people do think he's kind of dumb, some of the things he says. But whether you think he's dumb or not, he's not ignorant when it comes to weight training and fighting and all those things. He's been in the weight room a lot. He knows what it takes to lift a 100-pound dumbbell over your head with just two, ha with two hands, let alone one hand. He knew it was fake, but he hyped it up because everybody was talking about it and got a lot of publicity. Como got a lot of publicity. It's smart, right? No publicity is bad publicity. And speaking of publicity, look at his next post after here, okay? Director's cut of Rocky IV, opening in theaters November 11th, widescreen and 4K. So proud of all the technicians that did a great job in bringing this film and battle back to life in an amazing way. Thank you. Posted by John Rivoli. I mean, I'll definitely be watching this because I love Rocky IV. But, I mean, it makes sense. Do this video, 4 million views. Let's see. All his other posts, I mean, obviously he has 13 million followers, so, you know, that's crazy. Not unexpected, though, right? It is Fester Stallone. Look at this, 210K views, 1,000 comments, 814K, 2,000 comments, 459, 257, and then boom, 18,000, almost 19,000 comments, 4 million views, the man knows what he's doing, which is why he's one of the most successful actors there's ever been, right? So I think it's a publicity stunt for Rocky IV Director's Cut, which I will be seeing. And if you guys agree with me and think that it's just a publicity stunt, let me know down in those comments below and let me know if you're excited to see this because I am. I am a fan of Sylvester Stallone. I mean, the dude's a beast, you know? He, he, get, he gets old. Then he gets ripped and gets old and gets even more ripped. And then he comes back and he cuts a dude's heart out of his chest. <laughs> Just when you think the movie isn't going anywhere, right? The last Rambo movie, you're like, uh, this is kind of boring. What's happening? What's happening? And then dudes are going into his little tunnel of terror, getting their heads chopped in half and their hats ripped out. And you're like, yep, that's why I stayed here till the end. You saw the last Rambo, right? Oh my God, guys. Don't thumb down this video because Ricky hasn't seen the last. <laughs> hope, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Oh, a little fun today. Uh, make sure you check out the last few short videos I've made. Um, we're getting really creative with these, having a lot of fun. I like putting, bringing more comedy or more of my sense of humor into uh, my short videos. It's a lot of fun for me. So drop those comments. Tap these links here if you want to watch more videos. And as always, more good stuff coming soon. See you guys.